Hey everyone. So at all of our locations, all of our musicians, we use in-ear monitors, which are really incredible. They allow you to dial in your own mix. You get to hear what you want to hear. Um, that also enables us to use clicks and loops and things of that nature. Uh, it makes us much more cohesive as a band, I think. Um, but it also has the added benefit of allowing us to communicate um, without really having to make that known to everyone around us. You've seen some of my videos probably about um, uh, me acting as a music director. Um, every weekend we have a music director, someone who talks into a microphone, an MD mic, um, and they communicate with the band on behalf of the worship leader or the pastors. They smooth transitions and do things like that. And it really makes it a, a much more cohesive experience um, really a much better experience overall for those people who are worshiping. Things feel a lot smoother. and We prefer to have one person who's dedicated to MDing the entire time. They're playing an instrument or doing something else, but their job is to MD that weekend. But we don't always have that luxury. Um, so this weekend, actually, I'm going to be uh, leading worship and MDing at the same time. Um, and that gets really complicated to pull off. Um, I need a vocal mic and I need a MD mic that are going to different channels on the boards. They can go to different channels in our in-ears. But if you have two microphones on stage in front of you on two different stands, it, it can look really pretty terrible, to be honest, and be pretty distracting. And it gets really difficult to have to move back and forth between those microphones. Um, so there are a couple different ways that we can make this work using switches and buttons and things like that to take one microphone and split it to two outputs. Um, this is a pretty simple concept using something like an ABY uh, box, maybe something similar to this. This isn't exactly um, what you want to use. This is a latching uh, box for one microphone. So if you were an MD, and you're in a loud environment, you only want to hear people at one time, you could step on it, it would turn it on, and step on it again, it turns it off. But something similar to this, that's an ABY with one input and two outputs, and then when you step on it, that would switch your microphone from your vocal to the MD, and when you release it, it would switch back to the vocal um, or go the opposite way if that's easier for you. Um, so, so we have solutions like this, similar things to this, that make it easy to switch a, a wired microphone if you have a, a wired mic on a stand. Um, stepping on a box that is an ABY switcher, it's very simple. Um, but at our Cherry Hill location, all of our vocal mics are wireless microphones. And we made an investment in them and really like how it looks even on a mic stand, how a wireless mic looks versus a wired microphone. So we had to find a solution because we're switching between so many different services all the time. Rather than having to tear things apart, we wanted to find a solution that would allow us to do the same thing, switching an AV why, you know, between a, one input, two outputs to a vocal and to an MD, finding a solution that would work like that for our wireless microphones. And we found something that's pretty cool. Um, these boxes from Radial, this Relay XO switcher, um, and it has a little remote that plugs into it that allows us to do the exact same thing, but have a wireless microphone so everything looks a lot cleaner and you're using a wired remote on the stage. Um, so let me just open this up and show you a little bit about it and how it works. So these are the two things that make um, this switching of a wireless mic possible for us. It's the Relay XO uh, AB switcher and then also um, we have a momentary remote that helps us do that switching. So this box is pretty simple. Um, you, you guys that know radial engineering, really quality products, um, built like a tank. Um, it's actually got a, quite a bit of heft to it. But basically it has um, one mic line input and then two outputs, A and a B. Um, it has a power supply input that's in the box. It does require power. Um, and on this side, you can see there is a remote input for it. Um, and I'll get into that in a second. And on the side here, you can do a ground lift or you can choose um, kind of which is switching. So when you click on the remote, is it switching A to B or is it switching B to A? You can kind of change that back and forth. So it's a very simple 
um, concept. It's just an ABY switcher with a remote. And then this is the remote. They make um, two different versions, a momentary and a latching version. Um, so really the difference is there. The momentary is when you are stepping on it, it is switching. When you let go, it releases. It goes back to the normal setting. So that's momentary um, versus latching. Um, which is actually a, a different model entirely. When you step on it, it switches, and then when you step on it again, it releases, very similar to that other uh, little pedal that I showed you before. So it's really just that simple. Um, we come out of our wireless mic into this input and then split the two outputs. Um, so let's actually go on stage, and I'll show you what that looks like and how we set that up. So here we are backstage. I pulled this out to show you what it looks like. Um, it's not super fancy, but I just wanted to kind of show you how it works. Basically, we have this little snake going up to all of our uh, wireless mics. And really, we just take whichever input you can see. Uh, maybe you can see that it says one going into the input on um, the Relay XL. And then we have two different outputs going out. Those two outputs, one of them is going to a, a channel that we're using for MD, and one of them is going right into one, which is just how we have our microphones set up. So it's very simple. Um, and then for the remote, it's nice we can keep this backstage and do all of our, all of our switching here because we're just utilizing the actual uh, XLRs that are run under the stage into our stage boxes. This is mic a1 so that's the number one input out of the a box and i'll show you where that is and kind of how the remote is being used right now so here we are out front this is the uh, remote switch like i showed you in the office and it's just plugged in to our stage box box a um, and i'm just going right into mic a1 i'm using the existing cabling that's already run under the stage, since I don't have to use it, right? I've got no wires on my mic stand. I don't need those inputs, so I can actually use those inputs uh, for my remotes. Um, and if I wanted to switch to a different place on the stage, there's other boxes throughout. That's box B for us. Um, and so I can easily just run that to a different location, change the remote input, on the Relay XO backstage, and, and that's about it. So that's really it. It's a pretty simple concept overall. It may seem a bit complicated. Um, I realize the comments are down below are probably going to be, why don't you just use a wired mic? It's just our preference. That's what we like to do is have wireless microphones, plus we like the capsules and how they sound. So this enables us to do that. Um, it enables us to give anyone the opportunity to switch back and forth, and it's easy to change in between our services depending on um, if there's going to be an auxiliary MD or if it has to be one of the worship leaders. So. Um, that's how we do it. That's how we use the Radial XO switcher and the JR1M remote. I, I hope that that helps some of you out and maybe you can put this into practice on your own.